Um, I think we'll get started. So thank you everybody for, for joining us this morning. Um, we will be looking at the Nexus Uni platform from LexisNexus um, and going into a couple of tips and tricks on how to get the, the best out of the platform. Um, the beauty of Nexus Uni is it has a vast amount of data available to both students and faculty. And we will look at some of that data today but what I would uh, encourage you to do after this session, if you wanted to have a one-to-one -one session or if you wanted to get more information about Nexus Uni or LexisNexus, please reach out to, to either myself or anyone on my team, or uh, if you're based in QA, anybody at the Virtus National um, Company, and I'll give you a bit more information about those in just a second. So a little quick introduction to LexisNexus while, whilst um, I can see there's a few, a few more people joining. Um, LexisNexus has been around for about 200 years in various different guises and is one of the world's leading business information um, providers. Um, we relate information from a whole host of different sources um, and, and deliver that information um, through various different platforms that we have, including Nexus Uni, and we have a, a media monitoring tool called Nexus News Desk. Um, but we also have other tools uh, for things like due diligence um, and, and research. Um, we're part of the Relics Group. Um, some of you may have uh, been able to get access to the Elsevier Scientific Journals. Um, that too, again, is part of the Relics Group um, where Lexus Nexus sits. So my name is Adam Hall. Um, I'm the, the Head of Sales and Operations for LexisNexus um, in the Middle East. I am based in Dubai in the UAE uh, and I've been for the last five and a half years. Um, before that I worked in London um, and um, a few other places in the UK. Uh, Virtus National Company are our exclusive partner um, in Q8. Um, and are on hand to answer any questions that you have about LexisNexus or in this case actually Elsevier as well um, in, in Q8. Uh, if you're not in Q8 and you want to reach out to me directly then please feel free um, but if you are in Q8 we've worked with Virtus for, for a good number of years now um, we have a fantastic relationship with them and they are the leading electronic information resources supplier in Q8. Um, they are very experienced and have a fantastic team so I encourage you to reach out to them whenever you have any questions and they are all fully trained on on all of the Lexus Nexus products so can always help them if you have any questions or, or require any assistance. Um, just a quick point about Lexus Nexus and Relics. Uh, we do have a large corporate social responsibility arm um, and we supply a lot of information to the UN's sustainability goals. If you'd like more about information about that you can go to sdgresources.relics dot com um, and, and find out some more information about that um, which I think for for a lot of people is really interesting um, and you'll see that actually relic supplies most of the information that powers some of these these sources so I'm just going to dive out of this the slides now um, and into um, Nexus Uni platform for those of you who have accessed the platform before um, I need to change my share sorry So for those of you who have used Nexus Uni before, hopefully you'll get some, some really great insight into how to elevate your use of the platform today. For those of you who haven't, um, I'm going to give a quick brief insight into the platform um, and then share a bit more information about how to, to get used in the platform. The first thing to understand is if you are um, or you should have access to the platform, uh, then for whatever reason you can't, please reach out to either myself or the team at Virtus and we will get that set up for you as soon as possible. Um, you can either do it via IP or via a personal login. Um, so do, do reach out to us if you need to get access to the platform. If you're not an existing client of LexisNexus or Virtus and you'd like to, to get some trial access to the platform, again, please reach out to Virtus if you're in QA or, or me directly if you're not, um, if, you're, if you're based outside of QA. So why is LexisNexus, why does LexisNexus News, uh, Nexus Uni win so many awards? It, it wins awards for a host of different reasons, but one of those reasons is the amount of content that's available and the ease in which people can access that content. So you might ask, why wouldn't I just use Google? 
Um, well, the first answer to that is the amount of content that is available in Nexus Uni that is not available in a basic Google search is huge. So what you'll be looking for in Nexus Uni is very, very specific. What you're looking for in Google might be a paid advertising, um, could be from unverified sources. It could a whole host of reasons why if you're writing a paper or a dissertation um, and you're using sources that cannot be verified, then for example, Wikipedia is a great resource, but I could go and change that, that website today. Um, so you need to understand that when you're using documents for specifically for research or for dissertations, it's always better to have that information from a verified source and of course have the citations in place, which is where Nexus Junior really stands out. We also have a, ho a host of information that is behind paywalls or is licensed content, which again, you cannot access without going through the Nexus Uni platform. So the key things to really think about here are, are what am I interested in and, and how do I want to access the information? So the first point is I can do a very, very basic search. So I might look for Kuwait University as a search term. Okay. So I could just put Kuwait University, press search, and it's going to start searching for any mention of Kuwait and University. See here, it's starting to pull up all that data. Now, obviously, there's a lot of news, there's a lot of financial information, there's a lot of administrative information. So, how do we filter that content down and make it a little bit more specific? So, the first thing I can do is put brackets, uh, sorry, speech marks around it. And now it's looking for that exact phrase. So, whereas before it was looking for Q8 and university, now we're looking just for Q8 university as an exact phrase. So, again, many of you will be more than adept at using Boolean searches, but if you're not, um, we do have the help feature here, which you can click into and it gives you all of the tutorials and the list of various different Boolean searches that you can use. Or alternatively, if you want a training session on any of this, again, please reach out to us. So you can see here, we've got a whole host of stories, um, news stories, um, going back um, over 40 years, um, with 10,000 plus mentions of Q8 University. We've got 53 law review journals, um, 17 cases, some statutes and legislations, um, administrative codes and a, and a bunch of other information in here. Again, you might look at that and go, you know, this is not quite what I'm looking for. So you might want to narrow by time frame. So I can either search within the results. So if you're looking for something very specific, so if, for example, if I was looking for the faculty of commerce, I could actually filter my results specifically look for Q8 University and faculty. So you can see we've gone from over 10,000 to 64 articles where it mentions the faculty of commerce. It's a really, really quick and easy way for us to filter that down and start to get rid of some of the noise. So I can go even further um, and I can go time frame. So you can see here the earliest story in this one is back in 1984. And the latest one is 2020. So am I looking for a specific time frame? So I can either drag that and click OK. And then we, it pulls us back to the 1st of January 1984 to the 31st of December 20, uh, 2007. And you can see here the latest story is in 2007. So all the while we are leaving a breadcrumb. So we can see that breadcrumb start to build here, which will become useful later. Um, we can also look for location for that publication. So are you only looking for um, international, the US, um, the District of Columbia, very specifically that one? Are we looking for specific publication types? So transcripts, news sources, newspapers. Um, are we looking for specific subjects? So again, Nexus U is a library. So what we do is we index every single article that comes into the platform. And that gives us the ability to go okay, I'm looking specifically for articles that are talking about humanities and social science. So now we've gone from over 10,000 to four within the matter of clicks, and we're looking for articles that mention Q8 University. They also mention faculty of commerce. They have to be within that time frame, but they're also talking about humanities and social science. So you can see here, we have Q8 accuses secret organization of bringing arms in from Israel. So we can preview that article and we can start to have a look at it or I can click through to it and, and see the full article. So just while that loads up, 
So this is the full article that we look for. Again, you can see all the various different terms that we, we were looking for. They'll be highlighted in yellow. So two students are under detention pretending trial. Um, okay, not a great article for them, but um, from here we can start to build that into a, a report. So if this is something I want to do, I can directly export that citation. So for those of you who are using various different citation formats, you can click through from here and just change and export that straight into uh, either copy and paste or copy it to your clipboard. I can make annotations on this article um, if I want to. So if it's something I'm interested in, I can highlight uh, a particular topic. I can obviously copy, I can annotate. Um, very useful. And I can make my annotation. So once I'm logged in, I start to get that information and I can, once I export this content out, those annotations will go with it. And I can also highlight. So this one becomes very, very useful. Um, when I start sharing folders or if we have working folders within a group. So here I've got my annotation, I've got my highlighting feature and I can export that citation. I can download this article, I can share this article, I can do various different things with this article. Um, but one of the really great things I can do is I can add it into a folder. So if you are doing a piece of research um, and you're looking at a story and you wanna come back to that later, instead of just trying to remember where it is, I can add it into a folder. So in this instance, I'm going to add it into test. And then what I can do with that folder is I can then you know, go into that folder specifically, or I can share that folder with other people. Um, and I'll come to show you that in just a second. Um, but obviously, if we're sharing articles with people, then they might want to see it. And I can also add various different notes and I can see the notes that other people have added to this article as well. Um, I just, uh, from a point of note, um, I didn't make a note about um, comments. I can see there's a couple of comments about the audio. So um, apologies for that. Um, hopefully it's not too bad now, um, but if it does drop out completely, please let me know. Um, and I'll speak a little bit more slowly just to make sure it stays clear. Um, but yeah, if there are any questions or if there are any other audio issues, please let me know. Okay, so that's how we start to look at an article. But if I go right back to the beginning, um, Nexus Uni has lots of features that allows us to get to the content we want quickly. So I can search from here. I can actually look for specifically in news, in practice areas, date ranges, I can look at my favorite sources, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, I can look for cases and codes. Here we have our search tips. So as I mentioned before, it will pop up in a, a little pop-up page and give you access to the tips and tricks. Um, but I can also search very quickly in news, in a date range, or I can look at specific topics. We also have some quick searches already built for uh, COVID news, if that is something you're, you're interested in at the moment. But to go a little bit further, if I click advanced search, I can then start to look at the advanced search in a little bit more detail. I'm just um, making sure there aren't any more questions. Um, so within the advanced search, I can go a little bit further um, and I can look again for my search terms and I can add in the connectors that we talked about before. Um, the main connectors are and or not. Um, so I do want this and this or this or this. Um, but we can also look for proximity searching as well. So I want this to be within a certain number of words of another search. And I'll show you that in just a second. But very specifically, you may wish to look in certain areas. Um, one of the things that we've seen from existing clients and that is, that is very useful is you can actually start looking for a source. So if I want to look for articles in The Lancet, 
I can search Lancet and then search very specifically within that source. So again, you won't have access to Lancet outside in, in sort of the Google landscape um, because it is a, a payable publication. But within Nexus Uni, I could search for a very specific source and I could look for, um, let's say, diabetes, keywords that, um, articles that are talking about diabetes in the Lancet. And in that specific case, um, I'm going to look for okay. So here we have uh, various different articles of Pakistan. Um, I can then go and search within very specific sources. I'm lucky with the searches for the Lancet there, but the idea is that you can search within any of these publications by just starting to search them. So we can also search for Dutch national newspapers. We can look for um, documents that mention specific things. So if you're looking for a specific case, uh, a legal case, you can search for that here, or we can look for specific phrases or suggested questions. Okay. So again, much as you might do in Google, you can search for questions um, or companies as well. So do I want to look for the 3M uh, National Advertising Company, just find out all the information about that company that's available. So again, we can look at news, we can look at companies' information, um, and all the way down to things like who is the ultimate beneficial owner of that company. So if you're again doing some research into an organization, um, you can start to find that information about the various different companies. So these, these guys own that company, a subsidiary of 3M. Okay. So how do I start to build uh, folders and alerts? So there's a couple of ways we can do it. First off, you have your menu here. So we could look for all sources. We can look for businesses. We can look for criminal justice cases. Um, we can look at our history over on the right hand side. So we can see our, our various different searches. We can see a research map that we've built. Um, under my name, I can look at my work folders, my alerts, my notifications. So we're just gonna jump into the work folders now and have a look at um, the, the folders that I've got. So if you recall, um, a little while ago, we had a quick look at that story and I can see that is now in my folder. Um, I had a look at it on the 17th of August at that time, um, but I also have had other stories that I've added into um, this particular folder. So this one was back in May. Um, so I can either update that document and see if there are any changes, um, or I can come back in and click on this. Now the beauty of this folder section is I can send to a Google Drive or a doc, Dropbox. I can move that folder to somewhere, or I can move the articles into a different folder, but most, importantly i can share this folder with other people who have access to nexus uni so if i'm working in a group project um, especially at the moment where a lot of us are, are not either on campus or in offices um, it allows us to continue to work on the same content without having to all be together um, and it gives us the ability to look at the various different folders that we have share the various different notes and comments uh, and obviously pull all that together into a, a research summary at the end. So that's really, really kind of a, a really rough and ready look at how to run a search in Newsnet, in uh, Nexus Uni, sorry. Um, I would send across a tips and tricks sheet after this session um, with the top 10 features within, within the platform. But if anybody, like I says, has any questions or wants a one-to-one -one session, please do reach out to either myself or the team at Virtus and we will be more than happy to do that. Um, there are a couple of other features that I quickly want to run through. Um, and alerts is a really great way, especially if you're running on a project that is, is uh, maybe taking you a year or longer. Um, we can create alerts to tell you if something changes in the story that you're following. So uh, I ran a quick search earlier 
on uh, the news around uh, the UAE and Israel um, having a, um, uh, a peace treaty, I guess we can call it. Um, and it might be that I want to continue to monitor that story. Um, but if I scroll down, I can see here, this is my search and I'm just going to click back through to it. Um, and the interesting thing to see here is this is a slightly more complex search. So I'm looking for the UAE or United Arab Emirates. So it may be written one or two of these ways. Um, so I want to have both of them in the, the search. And if it's more than one word, we put it in speech marks. Um, and then near five, so within five words of Israel. So you can see here straight away, we've got historic breakthrough news. This is all the kind of content that I'm interested in, in seeing. So from here, I can either add this search to a folder, run it as natural language, link to this page to allow somebody else to, or I can go to the next step and start to create an alert for this particular search. So you see the little bell here, I click that. It has the title, um, I can put a description. I can say, I wanna monitor the news and the cases and um, whatever else I'm interested in. Um, when do I want that to deliver? So I want it to start from now and I want it to run for a week, let's say. And then who do I want to share this with? So it's gonna to come to me, but do I want it to share it with other people within our team as well? And then I create that term. I need to add the email address. So now that alert will sit in the background. Um, I may get no coverage of that, but eventually I will. Okay, uh, there's a question there um, uh, from Malium about um, how we use Nexus from the beginning. Um, yeah, of course, no problem. Um, I'll, I'll run back to that. So once you log into the Nexus Uni platform, um, if you are with on the, if you're on the campus or within the IP range of the campus and you're an existing client, it will automatically log you in. If you are outside of that, um, you may need to request a user login. So you can either do that whilst on campus um, and just click um, your name or if it hasn't got your name, it will give you the option to register. So you can register as a user. Um, and then it will bring you to this page and you quickly press a search and that will get you going. Um, does that answer your question on, on that one? Um, it's very simple in terms of just coming into the platform, clicking search and then away you go. Um, so hopefully that will help answer the question. Um, I'm just checking, okay, fine. So I'll come back to that question um, in the end, but in terms of Accessing the platform, of course, once you're in the platform, um, if you have any issues getting into the platform, please reach out to us. But if you, once you're in the platform, um, you can very quickly run a search in here. Um, you have the ability to search for all sources or, or various different things. If you come into the source, all sources feature, you can actually have a look at the source lists and we can build source lists as well. So if you have favorite sources that you're interested in, so you can see the thousands and thousands of sources from within here, um, or you can search the Lancet as an example. You can search for the Lancet, Lancet as a source. You can see it will pop up here. I can then look at the information of that source. So it's an Elsevier publication um, back to 1995, um, and it's a medical journal. So it gives us a bit of information. So at any point, if you're looking at any of those questions, um, you can see that information. 
Uh, which area of subject Nexus Uni is strong in? So Nexus Uni is strong across a wide range of um, subjects. It has a really deep and wide knowledge base, so it can be really useful for lots of different types of research. Um, one of the things that um, I know is very, very popular, especially in the Middle East, for um, students who are doing dissertations or, or research purposes, is looking at the the depth of news that is available. So going back 30 years and saying, look, I want to build a um, a landscape, a news landscape research paper looking at, let's say, diabetes over the last 30 years within the Middle East. So we can build that up by looking at the scientific journals and the news publications. So we did something recently with a, with a client in Saudi, actually, where they were looking at a uh, a piece of research around diabetes and how the number of news articles increased over time and then that led to an increase in the amount of research being done into that specific um, area as well. Um, so uh, yeah, Mariam and Kali, thank you both for your questions. So in terms of yeah, the, the depth, um, you really can um, look at it from a very broad perspective. Um, the, in terms of what type of users Nexus Uni would be useful for, I think students and faculty. Um, the, the, the beauty of the platform is um, if I'm a student and I want to go in and quickly uh, do a bit of research but also get access to the citations and, and make some notes, then that's really easy for me to do and I can save that uh, as I build up towards a, a dissertation or a research paper for faculty members or master's degrees or um, people in, in longer term projects. Um, it, it's a really fantastic way to allow them to keep a record of the amount of research they're doing. Um, and of course, at the end of it, to pull all that down um, with all the citations and all the notes um, into a format that they want to use for their research paper, um, instead of having to then go back and do all the citations themselves. So I hope that answers that question. Um, are there any more questions on the floor just while we're, while we're asking um, questions? Please do, uh, please do ask anything that might come up. Um, just while we're doing that, um, I just want to quickly look at, okay, let's go in the chat here. Okay, yeah, so um, the web page for Nexus Uni is accessible. Um, obviously, there's quite a lot going on, so it is mobile friendly, um, but it's slightly trickier than, than I guess looking at a web page just because of the amount of content. Um, if you wanted to um, pop me a note afterwards, I'm, I'm happy to give you a call on the mobile site um, and just see if there's anything you can do around that to, to make it a bit more accessible for you. Um, but yeah, it, you should be able to access it on, on any device. Um, but if there is any issues, then, um, then I'm more than happy to, to, to jump on with you or, or the Versus team will be happy to do that as well. Um, any more questions for, from anyone? Just before I move on to the couple of final points. Okay. So one of the things you can do um, with the sources is create a publication alert. So if there are publications that don't publish a lot, but they're interested they're things you're always going to be interested in. You can create an alert for that publication. We can add it as a search as a, uh, add the source as a search filter. So I can very quickly reference to that search whenever I want. I can get documents from that, but I can also add it as a favorite. So the more sources you have um, as favorites, you can then drop them down and over here very quickly just dive into these. So for example, for me, I might click here add the Lancet as a favorite. Now I know that I can come in here and search on that source anytime I like. Um, similarly, um, if you want to have searches a little bit more rigid, you can search for in here. Uh, we can look for practice areas and topics. So just coming back to the question that we had a, a few minutes ago about where is Nexus Uni strongest, you can see here that we are very, very broad. So everything from trademark law all the way back to um, energies and utilities law, um, 
all the way through to legal ethics. So there are really quite a lot of specific topics and area in the legal sector of this business. But again, in news as well, we can search by different languages. There are 90 different languages um, in the platform. Um, you can look for various different sources. We can look for article types and we can look for business news specifically. Um, and then again, in the cases and codes, if you are in the legal area or you're looking for things that are based, um, or you're looking for legal data for a piece of research, you can really dive into this in a lot more detail as well. Um, and then lastly, we can look at the, the content collections. So are we looking for legal news? Are we looking for companies on financial information? Are we looking for statutes and legis legislation, news or directories? Um, the companies and financial information is a huge wealth of information. Um, so you can really dive into a lot of information about companies. So again, if you, um, if you're writing a report on a, an organization or you're looking for the financial figures of an organization, you can dig all of that information into there as well. Um, I think for now, um, that's probably enough information, um, to, to share. Um, I will share uh, across the, the cheat sheet um, for, for Nexus Uni um, and the information for um, our, our fantastic team at Virtus, but also our, uh, my Lexus Nexus colleagues. I welcome any questions that anybody has at any point in time. Um, my name, like I said, is, is Adam Hall. Um, I am uh, head of sales and operations for Lexus Nexus in the Middle East. Um, Would you please tell how this database is unique compared to other citation databases, websites? Yeah, of course. So when you're looking at things like Web of Science, that's a very specific source um, collation um, that I guess is, is built to be specifically looking at um, certain topics. Nexus Uni is a much broader platform. Um, and um, Nexus Uni will give you access to a much wider um, variety of content. Um, there are lots of similar features, so citations and exportation um, reports. Um, but I, I, as I understand it, I don't think Web of Science has alerts. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, Nexus Uni is, um, you know, in an ideal world, we have access to everything. Um, but Nexus Uni is a much broader database and has much bigger wealth of content. Um, that's the main difference. Um, but like I say, you know, in an ideal world, we have access to, to everything. Um, can we get access to the site using a KU email? Yes, you can. Um, if you have any difficulties, please do fire across an email um, to myself or, or my colleagues at, at um, Virtus. Um, but if you, just on that access issue, um, if you come into Nexus Uni, um, just put Nexus Union to Google and it will come up. Um, where my name is at the top here, um, it will have hello guest or login. If you put your university email address in, it will allow you to register yourself as a user. So you can do self-registration. Um, so I see there's another question there about um, logging into the site. So again, yes, um, the best place is if you come into Nexus Union the first time, if you're within the IP range, it should automatically put you through. If it doesn't, you can just register at the top right, um, it will allow you to access the platform. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please do reach out to the Virtus team, myself, or um, your, your library manager. Um, I will, um, I'm gonna put my email address in the chat now. So if anybody wants to take it, they can. Um, and also we have um, some emails. If you've registered to the publication, everybody who's registered will get the, the cheat sheet um, within the next 30 minutes anyway. So um, you don't need to necessarily contact me directly, but please feel free if you, if you would like to. Um, contents are available for major publishers as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, so we, um, we do pride ourselves on having the widest amount of, of data um, available um, for, for a university platform. So again, if you wanted to just look at the sources, you can go to all sources. 
and just look for any source that you're interested in getting the context from. Okay, um, I think in that sense, um, I'm going to let you all have a, a, a break and, and get on with your day. Um, please do not hesitate to contact me or, or the team at Virtus if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining this session. It is, it is greatly appreciated and I thank you for your time. Um, for any of you who, who already have access to the platform, then please have a play with it. If you get stuck, uh, let me know. Um, and for those of you who are asking for my email, um, I'll send the email with the cheat sheet now so you'll have it in the next 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, yeah, I can answer this live. Can I answer? I'm just going to put it in the question, the Q and A section as well. Okay, hopefully you should all have now have either in the Q and A or the chat. Both my email is in both of those. Um, but like I said, I'll send an email out shortly, and you should all get access. You, it will be from uh, our marketing team, and I'll make sure my email address is in there. Okay. Um, in that sense, uh, let's wrap it up. Thank you everybody for your time. I hope it was useful. Um, we really encourage you to go in and play with the platform, have a go, see what you get. If you get stuck with anything, please reach out to the Versus team or, or myself and my team. Um, have a great day. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you for choosing LexisNexis.